everyone, good morning. A crisp, chilly, clear, beautiful morning this morning. It's starting to get light now. It's still fairly early, but we're starting to get some color in the sky and it is just gorgeous out here. You know, it was so clear last night, it got really cold. A lot colder than the forecast had said when I was packing for this trip. Initially, it was supposed to just get down to around 20 degrees. But last night it got down to negative one and then I checked the forecast on my little satellite device and tonight it's supposed to get down to negative eight. So I'm really glad that I brought my winter gear when prepping for this trip, when packing. I wasn't going to initially, but I was packing and I just had this feeling that maybe you should bring your winter gear. So I'm really <laughs> glad that I did because I was nice, just toasty warm last night. But I'm starting to get some really, really nice colors here um, on the rock and a little bit in the sky. So I'm gonna get hiking, looking for mule deer. You know, after last night, after getting those uh, mule deer with the lingering evening uh, sunset colors, I'm just pumped ready <laughs> to get some more mule deer and some colors like that. So I'm gonna hit the trail and hopefully be able to find some mule deer and get them in some more colors like that because, oh my goodness, this color is just gorgeous. So uh, without rambling too much, let's just get going and hopefully find some deer this morning. Hey everyone, it's such a fun morning. I had out with the mule deer this morning. You know, I left camp early this morning, started hiking, and things started off really slow for me this morning. I just wasn't seeing a whole lot. I was hiking along and I saw a couple of mule deer up on a hillside in some uh, pretty dense vegetation, but I didn't go up to try to photograph them. It was just a little bit too twiggy, a little too chaotic for me personally to wanna try to get pictures of the deer up there. So I just kept hiking, wasn't seeing a whole lot, and I was hiking along this hillside and I came up over this little rise and all of a sudden I see all these big ears <laughs> just, you know, in the rocks and whatnot, in the rabbit brush, and there were just all these mule deer just sitting there staring at me. And so I uh, hunkered down really, really slowly and carefully on this rock that was nearby, I got my camera up and started taking pictures of these deer. And let me tell you, I have never seen mule deer be that curious before. You know, I was worried that I was gonna startle this, all these deer, there were about 14 of them. And uh, instead of startling them, I just hunkered down on this rock really slowly and they 
just started checking me out. They were so curious. Just, they came pretty close to see what I was and what I was doing and I was able to get some pictures and a little bit of video footage of these deer in this beautiful, beautiful morning light. It was mostly females and some uh, younger deer. There were a couple of really small bucks and a decent sized buck in there as well. And again, I was able to get some pictures that I was pretty happy with, I think, of these deer. And let me just tell you, it felt so amazing to just be with these beautiful animals with them, just feeling so comfortable with me being there. And eventually they continued on their way and I thought, you know, they had been so tolerant of me for a little while that I was gonna follow along with them. But as soon as I started moving a little bit faster and following along with them, I could tell they, they didn't like that as much. So I stopped, I wanted to end that encounter on a positive experience. Yeah, with them being comfortable with me so I stopped got them comfortable with me again and they continued on and I just let them go on their way and I kind of hiked around the other way to uh, see what else I could find but other than that it was pretty slow the rest of the morning and early afternoon so far I'm on a mission right now to go get some water the spot that I was filling up with water uh, the last time I was out here about two years ago it's completely dry this year so I need to find some new water a new water source this time and I've been on the lookout for some thicker vegetation which I've got down here uh, specifically I'm looking for a patch of cottonwood trees cottonwood trees are a very good indicator tree species that there is water nearby and I've got some just way down here I can barely see them so I'm gonna hike that way and hopefully find some water this afternoon otherwise I'm gonna run out here probably tomorrow so I'm gonna go fill up on some water and then start hiking back to camp this afternoon and evening and hopefully find some more mule deer to photograph I'll keep you guys updated throughout the rest of the day out here but I'm gonna keep moving it's getting cold
What an amazing evening. I'm hiking back to camp. Can you just, can you believe these colors? Look at these colors all around me. So pretty. I, I just love it out here. So yeah, just an incredible evening. Got out with some mule deer again. And uh, I came across two different groups. So came across that same group again that I was with this morning. And just had a really good time with them. Uh, there were two bucks this time, two decent sized bucks. And uh, one of them chased the other off and then that one chased all the females and uh, was sniffing all of them to <laughs> see which one, which ones were ready to mate, if any of them. And uh, so yeah, I got a little bit of time with them. Oh, some cactuses here, don't wanna step in those. Um, yeah, a little bit of time with those ones and then they can't, kinda went off into the brush a little bit. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking, it's so cold. <laughs> uh, and so I kept hiking after that. And I made it out to this area where I was last night and was able to find those deer that were out here again last night. Uh, the two bucks again. I've actually still got eyes on one of them. He's moving really high up into the hills, but yeah, I was able to spend a little bit of time with them. Uh, they weren't as tolerant tonight as they were last night, so I kept my distance a little bit more. But let me tell you, I got possibly my most favorite picture from the trip this evening. You know, when most people focus on photographing mule deer or elk or bighorn sheep or whatever, they just go for the biggest male that they can find. And they forget about the females sometimes. But uh, this evening I got a picture of a female just making her way across the skyline here with the color behind. And, <laughs> oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. Just such a gorgeous setting. I just love being out here. So now I'm just hiking back, back to camp. Hopefully I'll get back a little bit earlier than I did last night. Um, I don't wanna get back, or I don't wanna hike in the pitch black again like I did last night. So I better keep going. I have a hard time walking out here, walking and talking at the same time. It's so rocky, I get, if I start talking, I get focused on the camera and then I start slipping on all the rocks and everything, so. I'll uh, check in with y'all in the morning. An amazing day with the mule deer in this beautiful, beautiful setting. All right, we'll see you in the morning. Hey everyone, good morning. Absolutely beautiful morning out here. It is chilly chilly, but there's no wind. It's calm. This is definitely the The calmest it's been this entire trip so far and it's It's just calm and peaceful and quiet Just a splendid morning out here. I wanted to get an early start this morning again To hopefully find some deer to be able to photograph. This is my last partial day out here. Yesterday was my last full day so I'm going to head out, start hiking, see what I can find to hopefully photograph this morning, and then I'll come back here to camp and uh, pack things up and then start heading out. And who knows, maybe I'll run into something on my way out of here today. But uh, for now, I just wanted to make the most of the time that I have left here, start hiking, looking to see what I can find, and hopefully we'll find some more deer to be able to photograph this morning. I really just wanted to capitalize on the rest of the time that I had or that I have out in this beautiful, beautiful location. So without blabbering too much this morning, let's get going and see what we can find. Oh, beautiful morning. The morning progressed very slowly. I hiked for hours and only saw a few mule deer far off in the distance. They seemed much lower that morning than they were the rest of the trip. My theory is that it had been so cold that the deer started moving to lower elevations during the night. Making my way through the landscape, I just admired the beauty all around me and just felt so grateful for these amazing few days that I had with these beautiful mule deer.
Well, the time has come. I've had so much fun over the last few days in this beautiful, beautiful landscape with the mule deer out here. As I mentioned earlier on in this trip, mule deer are some of my favorite animals, not just to photograph, but some of my favorite animals in general. I'd put them up there in my top five favorite animals, I think. I absolutely love them, but as time has gone on, I've progressively photographed mule deer less and less as I focus on other species more and more. So to get out here over the last few days and just dedicate some time to observing and photographing and just spending time with these mule deer and their beautiful home out here it has been so much fun and I hope you've enjoyed. These extended trips are my favorite trips to come on, whether it's a few days like this trip or a couple weeks like Alaska, for example. These are my favorite trips to, to come on and to uh, bring you along with me and share these experiences with you here on YouTube. They're my favorite videos to pick, put together, so I hope you've enjoyed. I've had so much fun out here. I'm headed back to camp right now. I need to pack up my stuff and hit the trail. I stayed out a little bit later this morning than I anticipated, so I've got some time I need to make up on the trail, headed on to the next adventure today. Luckily, it's pretty much all downhill from here, so I shouldn't have any issue making up for lost time on the trail. And who knows what I might see on my way down, maybe some more mule deer or some other fun wildlife to share with you. You never know. I wanted to remind you I've got my 2024 wildlife calendars available on my website now. These aren't just calendars. Each month has the story behind the image to accompany it. I've also got videos linked on the calendar, videos that I haven't shared before on uh, my YouTube channel as well as uh, discount codes, different things like that for prints on my website, uh, different things like that. So go pick up a calendar for yourself, for your loved ones this upcoming holiday season, and I hope you enjoy it. I've also got spots available on my 2024 Alaska Bear Workshops, so go sign up for a spot there and come out and photograph the beautiful bears, the ptarmigan, the occasional fox, and wolf out in that beautiful landscape with me next summer. I hope to see you out there and uh, hope to get to spend some time with you out in the field. It's such a fun adventure. Talk about adventures that I love going on. That one is probably the top of all of them. So <laughs> come out and join me next summer. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned, I got to hit the trail. So I'm going to sign off now and we'll see you on the next adventure. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.